All right, this is a video uh, to show the progress on Lorraine's knife. Uh, I haven't made a video about his knife for a while. Uh, basically, yeah, I just got the knife back from Heat Treat and uh, started doing some stuff on it. Wanted to uh, trying to get it ready in about a week from now. Uh, I was hoping to get it ready to deliver to Lorraine, and um, we'll see. I've got too much stuff going on with school and everything, so. Um, for those of you that haven't seen this knife, this is the knife that Lorraine Arnold designed. He contacted me about a year ago, and uh, uh, not quite a year ago, but we've been working on this piece for a while. Um, decided to make it out of PD-1, out of 225 thousandths PD-1, which is in between 3 sixteenths and, and a quarter inch. Uh, it's a pretty, pretty light and fast blade. Uh, and so this knife, uh, my understanding of it, uh, the way I look at it is it's, it's a bit of a hybrid. Um, it's not a um, designated chopper, it's kind of a machete type chopper. Um, it's going to be, it's lighter uh, and faster. Um, it's got a lot of versatility with the design. Uh, I, what Lorraine's going to use it for is he, uh, he does a lot of mountain biking. Uh, I also am, am really into mountain biking, it's something Lorraine and I have in common. And uh, he does a lot of trail clearing up in Vancouver, Washington. I mean, Vancouver, uh, BC. And uh, so he needs something that he can clear limbs with, clear brush, clear, you know, light vegetation. And then he needs something that he can also chop with. And so this a bit of a hybrid to hopefully, you know, give him one tool that's uh, light enough to be uh, carrying around and stuff. Uh, and, uh, and be able to do that type of work. Uh, I'm pretty confident this thing's going to work out really well for him. So, uh, the blade is uh, PD-1, and it's about Rockwell 60. Uh, I did a batch with the, the Vega Knives in Rockwell 62, and my competition chopper is Rockwell 62, but uh, in some destructive testing, I found that 62 was, it was more brittle than I would like. It was still very durable. Um, I was really impressed with the edge stability and everything, but when I did get it to break, um, and when I did get it to chip, uh, the chips were not the, the proper property that I would like for larger blades. In a mid-sized knife or smaller knife, Rockwell that high would be just fine. You're not going to get enough energy into it to, to, to be able to make it chip um, catastrophically. So, back to the knife. Um, you know, Lorraine, you know, wants to ride his bike, have this knife mounted, and be able to get off his bike have access to this piece and um, chop with it and, and clear trails and I mean uh, I'd like to to yeah I think it would be really awesome to you know take something like a super assassin you know as, as, as cool as it would be to be riding around and as awesome as it would be to be riding around on your mountain bike and then having this thing your back um, I think the weight would start to get to you after a while and it just uh, the one-handed operation is 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 doable, but it's not um, not as natural as, as this piece that Lorraine has. Uh, I'm, I'm really excited about finishing up this piece because I really want to try it out um, it, and um, see how it works because uh, I think it's going to have some just great, great properties for what he needs it to do. So first, uh, the way this piece is constructed, it, it's, a, it's a full tang, but it's a hidden tang. And um, we have our transition from our Rikaza to our tank. We've got um, very nice radiuses here. Everything has been uh, polished before heat treat. Uh, and so uh, uh, one of the things I do is it's a lot easier to um, put like a copper, the Japanese would call it a sepa, but you know this copper spacer uh, there because I can forge it into this area and it takes on that radius so it creates a male end. And then um, this is a titanium, 6.4 titanium guard. And um, although I had to file in a bit of the mail in there, uh, it, it, is, uh, it, it seats up against the copper. And then as, as, I, as I work everything, the copper begins to work hard and then settles in and everything. And this is all going to be epoxied together. Um, the handle is, uh, is full tarot tough. It's a three-quarter mortise construction. And um, it's got, we're going to have a quarter inch lanyard hole. And then um, we're making titanium, a ti I made a titanium collar 
much like a Japanese part uh, or a feral. Um, I'm going to, you know, obviously clean up and cut down the copper to um, more of a decorative shape. And then the um, titanium guard is going to be heat colored like this piece. But the neat thing about the collar, the titanium collar, is because it fits over the the um, mortise, I mean all these joints, that are, there's no there's no problem with them coming apart because the, the glue I used is as strong or stronger than the, the matrix of the material, I mean the, than the, the resin that holds all, all the stuff together. And, but this collar is, is one piece of milled titanium so there's just no way it's going to break through this. Uh, titanium is just so, the 6.4 is just so durable and that adds strength to it. Um, plus, this piece is going to be glued together, uh, not just pinned, but glued with uh, West Systems epoxy. And I've never had the G Flex go bad on me. It just it's really good stuff. So once this thing is together, there we go. Uh, right now, the balance point is about an inch in front of the guard, and uh, it's just a uh, very versatile design. Um, Multi-handle construction, uh, uh, easy two-handed grip if you need it uh, for really powerful chopping and, and, and cutting. Um, this is going to be a really neat piece. I'm really excited about how this thing's going to turn out. I uh, hope to be able to get it done by the show. I can't guarantee anything. I've got a lot of uh, different things going on with school this week, but I'll definitely be getting home and uh, working on this piece. Uh, just got to, we've got to finish polishing up the blade, grind it up, sharpen it up, do the heat coloring on the titanium, fit out the guard, uh, reduce the handle more. Uh, the handle is likely going to be wrapped um, with uh, maybe paracord. I mean, we're just going to wrap a section of paracord. Uh, I, I also would like maybe um, uh, this material is called a tsunami cord, and it is uh, a material that um, I get from my Japanese swords, but it's a very durable, uh, very durable cord. Uh, I'm really, I really like this stuff. Uh, maybe we'll go with that route. I, I don't know. I'll talk to Lorraine more. But um, thanks for looking. Thanks for watching. And uh, uh, I'll post the video of when I get some more work done, more more progress on it.